Good morning, everybody. It's your main man, Shannon. Welcome to the Car Chronicles. So my 13-year-old Shannon Jr., he asked me the other day, he said, um, Dad, what human being do you love the most? I said, dude, you always asking stupid questions. Ava don't ask stupid questions, but he does. And I said, well, Mom. And he was like, and Ava goes, I told you so. Ha, ha, ha. Now, it's interesting because people, you know, would talk about the idea of, of of how is it that you love your wife more than any living present human being so well, that's what god's commanded god said this he says a man shall be so leave his mother and father be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh he says the two will be one so i love my wife like i love myself as a result of loving my wife like i love myself i can i can keep a covenant with my wife a blood-bought agreement with my wife to be loyal and to do the things that I would do for myself. I'm not going to cheat on myself. I'm not going to lie to myself. I'm not going to mistreat myself. Um, see, I think that's what's lost in marriage. You know, as we as we really pay attention to this, and I, when I talk to young couples and, and couples that are going to be married about this, I talk clearly about the roles of a husband and a wife and what a husband should do in every single instance and, um, you know, what a wife should do in every single instance and and. You know, what we've seen by and large is we've seen a great role reversal where women are boss chicks or this or that, and I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. Nine times out of 10, those women will be alone because a man's desire is not to be with a person with the same masculine aggressive energy that he has. That's neither here nor there. My point today is if you're married, love your spouse like you love yourself. And if you're not accurately fulfilling the love for yourself, do some self-reflection and fix that. You're worth it. Believe that. That's all I got today, y'all. I love you. God loves you. Stay safe in the rain today. Keep living in victory.